I'm John White. I'm fleet supervisor with the city of Safford. We just took delivery of our uh, first Scorpion uh, side load uh, refuse truck. It's, um, we've been had good relations with uh, Arizona Refuse for several years. Um, a, we've built a, a good rapport with them. We know everybody involved in the, the manufacture of this truck. We've, uh, we've basically seen the manufacturer from the start of it until now, until we finally took delivery, uh, when it was just a concept in Paul Campbell's mind, really. I mean, when he first started putting it on paper, we got to see it. And the safety features that he has incorporated into this truck is one of the big features that we went for. Uh, he thought about the operator, he thought about the mechanic, he thought about everybody involved in this truck, the simplicity of being able to repair it and diagnose what the problems are with it. And it was an easy sell for us. We, uh, as the mechanics, we could see the, the benefits. And, and I was one of the main driving forces to go to the Scorpion body even though it's a new design, new body, uh, we just liked what he had brought to the table. And, and when we sold it to our uh, management, upper management, it was because of the um, safety features and actually the repair simplicity on the, on the machine. We, uh, and the big, but the big factor is the rela relationship that you can build with Arizona Re uh, Refuge. Uh, if you need to call down and talk to somebody, if, if you need to talk to Paul Campbell, you ask for Paul Campbell and, and they will put him on the phone. Uh, you can talk to Steve, you can talk to the engineer, uh, one of the sales reps. You're not just dealing with a sales rep, you're dealing with, a, with the entire organization when you uh, start dealing with Arizona Refuge. You, you, you get to know who you are dealing with and uh, and they work, they go out of their way to help you on uh, all the repairs, uh, uh, any problems you may have. Uh, and we started with the, well, actually we started with the rapid rail, and then we moved up to the Python, and um, we've just had a really good relationship with Arizona Refuge, and, and we're uh, super happy with them so far, and we can't see anything. We just went through our, our orientation on the truck, and... Uh, it's everything that we thought it was going to be, plus a lot more. Uh, the simplicity, the, the using the uh, same parts for different functions on the truck. You don't have to have a whole bunch of inventory. And just knowing the people that we're dealing with, we really like what, what we see. Before Arizona Refuge started building this truck, uh, we dealt with them for parts and service on other brands, the, the other gar uh, refuse trucks that we have, and uh, we've always had good rapport with them. They've always gone out of their way to try to help solve any problems we had. Uh, they tried to answer any questions we asked. We, like I said before, we could call up and we can talk to anybody down there, um, from a mechanic to the, the owner of the company. They've always had super support for whatever Whatever they they were product they were running, it's always been super good uh, support, and uh, they they just go out of their way to help you, and it helps uh, us to to know that we have somebody reliable uh, that we can call and and whenever whatever need we have. On this Scorpion, the, the some of the big factors that we that really were sellers on a, for us was the fact that. The operator never needs to be in the hopper. If he drops a can, he can re reverse the packer blade and it'll pull the can back up out of the hopper. The fact that there are no holes in the body of the truck, it's, um, there's, there's, you don't have a bunch of places for garbage to hang up and get packed in around it and, and you have no inside bearings. Everything is on the outside of this truck. Uh, your, all of your cylinders are on the outside, uh, your, uh, all the wiring, uh, you don't have to worry about what's inside the truck because everything that you're going to have to repair is on the outside. The uh, simplicity for the operator, I keep using that word simplicity, but that's what the truck is. It, it makes it easier for everybody involved, from the operator to the mechanic. Uh, it's just... Uh, 
a good design. I mean, uh, there, uh, I don't know where you're going to get a three-year leak-proof guarantee on hydraulics. Except for here, it's the only one I've heard of, but on this truck you do. You get a three-year leak-proof guarantee. And it's all powder-coated. Even the hydraulic lines are, have a clear powder coat on them. Uh, all the hoses are routed where they don't wear. Uh, they don't, they've tried to avoid any rubs. Um, it's uh, just a, they put a lot of thought into the maintenance of the truck on, uh, the grease fact, uh, greasing the truck. I mean, it's a once a week, everything is from ground level. Uh, you don't have to climb up on top of the truck to grease it. You don't have to climb underneath it to grease it. It's all ground level, all on the outside. All of those features are um, super features for maintenance. And the tailgate, when you open the tailgate, the props on the tailgate, you don't have to get your body in any position to be pinched by the tailgate if something failed. It's, uh, everything is from the side and, and nothing from underneath. Um, they lock good. They, they're uh, a, a solid support. Um, our truck has a tag axle on the back uh, because we go, go into tight areas in tight cul-de-sacs and, and we have a tag axle that can be lifted off the ground when they make their tight turn. It makes it where you don't drag the tires going through the cul-de-sacs. Um, it's just a, a really nice truck for, for our use especially. We've got, a, it's a 27 yard body with a, a, a four yard hopper, gives you a 31 capacity. Um, and we've been running 20s and 22s, so we're going to be able to haul a lot more. It's going to be a lot less trips to the landfill, a lot more productive time on the route. We just can't wait to get it out on the route.